Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again, or for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here. Hope you guys are all doing well, and, um, I do apologize, the previous episode was a bit longer than, uh, than I would have liked, um... We had a little bit of technical difficulties. Um, however, now things seem to be just fine. We, uh, there was like a tiny bit of static in the line, and um, it wasn't really at audible levels, honestly. I could hear it, but um, it shouldn't have been really noticeable in the recording but uh yeah I, I got it taken care of I kind of just turned off everything make sure all the plugs were like firmly in place and uh now it's completely gone 100 percent it's so it's so quiet it's so quiet in here guys guys did you know it's so quiet so freaking quiet. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna cut down this tree. I could have sworn I just cut this thing. Oh. As soon as the trees are off screen, they come back. Wow. 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 I kind of figured, like, once you go into a building, come back out, like, maybe they would come back, but no. It's as soon as they're off screen. In that direction? Huh. Well, ain't that a kicker. That is, uh, rather strange, huh? Will it come back if I do this, though? Huh. Two tiles off screen. Oh, maybe because I was entering a different area? This is all Route 9? That might be it. That might be it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. It's your host, Anjo, here. <laughs> Getting very distracted. Uh, today's gonna be part 17. And the, uh, likely-to-be final episode of this recording sesh... Although, now that everything's going well, I I might do one more. I might do one more after this. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are having a great day. It's, um, in the previous episode, we went ahead and cheated a little bit uh, in the Pokedex. Because um, I didn't have enough Kanto Pokemon to get uh, Flash. So I went ahead and caught a Pidgey, which, for the sake of the Pokedex, I immediately released it, and caught a... What was the other one? It's Kakuna. Kakuna's like number 20 or something? Why didn't I see it? Oh, 14. Yeah, uh, and Kakuno, which we immediately released as well. Um, so those don't count. That was purely just to get Flash. Um, didn't keep it. However, now we are on a new route. Route 9. I'm nearly positive this is a new route. Yeah, there's no way we've been here yet. I don't think. Uh, poke fact of the day. I'll just pull up the catch list. And this is also my list of poke facts that we've already done. Oh, actually, this will be 
Yeah, no, this will be the final episode in this recording session. Because I got a poker fact for you guys for this episode, but not the next one, so I'm going to have to make more. Uh, anyway, we did Kingdra last time. And we have routes. 1, 22, 2, 3, 4, 24, 25, 5, 6, 11, Diglett's Cave. We do not have a Pokemon for Route 9. Cool. Alright. So that is the thing we are going to be catching. Catching? Oh, whoops. You have a Pokemon with you. You're mine. My team. Our Jasmine. Get a not to? Wouldn't recommend it. Uh, why is Blappa out front? Nothing I'm complaining? I thought I had raw elites. Squirt. Meditate. Quirkles. That was his name. Quirkles. Let's see. Well, 18. Alright. I thought we got Professor Fox to 23, but I guess not. Um, I'll let Derb take this one. I don't really have a Pokemon for this type right now, but Fire should be fine. I mean, ordinarily I'd want to use Flying type, but... Or bird type, according to the guy in the, uh, uh, what was that, Vermilion Gym, I think? It's like, bird and water Pokemon are a no-go. It's like, bird type? That's not a type, dude. It was gonna be a type in Gen 1. Uh, not too, yeah, not too big a deal, am I right? Quirkles, let's go, homie. Um, yeah, I'll just let Dirt take it again. Take it away, take it away, take it away now. Peck. One, two, three, gonna peck in all the birds. Mm. Ah, that warms my soul. It was getting a little chilly in here, so uh, I did grab a jacket. I'm nice and cozy. Cozy smozy. You know, I could probably take a... well... Probably. But Dirt can probably one-shot this thing. I mean, it's also Ice-type, I could just use Metal Claw, but Ember would be better. For the same type attack bonus. Alright. Quirkle's got a level 16! Or Teleport! Which is kinda handy. Like, you don't really need escape ropes if you have a Pokemon with Teleport. The tunnel coming up is pitch black inside. You'll need Flash to get through there. Well, I mean, you don't need it, but unless you have the Dragon Claw. Dude, that's a great move. Dragon Claw freaking rules. I mean, we don't have a Dragon type, but Dirt can learn it. And honestly, if no one else... Um, if I don't get a dragon, I'll probably teach that to him. Probably. Uh, okay. 
Bah, great, I was bored, eh? Yeah, I was bored, eh? Ryder Linden. Mm-hmm. Lampa. I wanna thrust. There we go. Effect spore. Yeah, Magnemites can have that. Alright. Minern. Minern. Uh I would say Quirkles and then probably Dirg. Oh, dude, definitely Dirg. I mean, Professor Fox would be better because of the special D. But... that's fine. Okay, he's going for physical attacks. That's eh, pretty good. It's kind of hoping for a full half, but no. Nah. There we go. Ah, I was hoping for the burn. Hoping for the burn, baby, burn. Did I ever make that reference today? I think I did in the previous episode. Keep it coming, eh? Oh wait, I'm out of Pokemon. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna get poisoned. Um... PSN. <laughs> Blap is on the PlayStation Network? Well, actually, you know, I could just use teleport. Fuck. Well, antidotes are cheap. Paralyzed heals, not so much. Vermilion? No. Is that on the SSN? Can you even teleport back to the... I don't want to backtrack all the way there. Fine. I thought I healed up in Cerulean. I guess not. Shoulda. If ifs and buts were candies and nuts. Who's that walking there with those good looking Pokemon? Bad girl. He's that girl. He's candy on a tree. He's everything that every girl should be. That girl. All right, um, again, why do I have Blapa out front? Arm thrust? I mean, he's psychic type, but. Uh, okay, fine. Still pretty impressive. Oh no, not confusion. This is the world we live in. It's all the hands were given. Uh, Yeah, I'll let Professor Fox finish this. That's it? I really thought my attack would do more than that. Yeah... 
using Psychic on a Psychic type. Yeah, I don't really want knockoff, no. Yeah. Build them. Yeah. Probably should. Um let's see, Beldum's experience yield is pretty bad, so I guess just Durg. Right? Yeah. It's Durg. Kinda sucks because a lot of these oh yeah, that's right. A lot of these trainers, um are using unevolved Pokemon. So it's making it a little harder than it should be to evolve, like level up and stuff. Uh-huh. That's pretty good, I guess. 463. I think this is the kid that would ordinarily have a Beedrill. I got up early every day to raise my Pokemon from cocoons. Yeah, this is the Beedrill kid. Fan Scott sent out Eridos. While still using bug types. I appreciate the consistency. Um, see, poison is not very effective on fighting, I think. What is he? Bug and poison, I think. So, actually, fire should be super effective, right? I think so. Oh yeah. It's got that bird. Mhm. Mm ah, crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. He still got a bee drill. That's cool. I wonder if he has a Beedrill regardless of randomization. Or maybe it's just a happy coincidence. Uh, yes. That is a third stage Pokemon. I am definitely swapping in Quirkles. Get that experience, my dude. Uh, not keeping him in, though, because of Twin Needle. Uh... Others? He's probably just gonna do... Fury attack? Is that the name of it? Fury attack, yeah, that's one. You want some of them crits. Hmm. Yeah, 322. Quite good. Oh, good. What? What a total waste of time. Nah, man. That bee drill could uh, grow up to eventually beat the Elite Four. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go ahead and hard save. Um, yep. Haven't done that. In a little while, I might have hard saved. I think I hard saved at the end of the last episode, actually. Um, but yeah, we can we can catch something here. Yes, duplication claws. I don't have to catch it. We can roll them dice again because Ninkata sucks. Uh, burn it. Oh. Wait, what level? Level 17, wow, okay. That is quite usable. Mm 
Okay. Sunlight is strong in this one. Noise. Shit. Well, actually, to be fair, I don't have a grass type or a flying type right now. I will have a flying type, but I don't have a grass type, so... This could be worse. I mean, I don't want to kill it. This shouldn't kill it. Oh, fuck, I was close to being wrong. Oh, I almost screwed up my one catch chance. Um... Thankfully, it is level 14, so I'm pretty sure he's going to evolve. Uh, as soon as he levels up, probably. I think so. Pretty sure all of Hoppip's evolutions are pretty quick. There we go. Not bad. Uh, I have no idea what his moveset is like, though. The Cottonweed Pokemon. To keep, to keep from being blown away by the wind, they gather in clusters. They do enjoy gentle breezes, though. Uh, yeah, of course I'm gonna nickname it. I'm gonna nickname him... Some kind of plant-based nickname. Uh... Or like, what is he? He's like a seed. Um. Got it. Got it. Freaking got it. Dandy. The Lion. Dandy. Got to escape Dandy. Keep forgetting I have a bicycle. <laughs> I need to use this Pokemon Center so I can teleport back to it. Oh, I might be able to teach him a cut as well. Possibly. Oh, dude, he was holding a TM too. Fuck yeah. Um. I'm just gonna be a little hopeful and take out Murph. And Nadra didn't pick up anything. Yeah, what is TM forty nine? Snatch. Okay, it's not a damaging move, it's not a move I would ever use, and um that's disappointing. Cuts. Of course he can't learn it. Great. Um... <laughs> Shit, who would I take out? I guess I'll leave Dandy out of the party for now? I mean, I can't take out these four, and I can't- I don't want to take out Nadra, because Nadra can pick stuff up for me. Yeah, sorry, Dandy. Gonna be sitting on the sidelines, uh, just for a little bit. Go ahead and 
switch. Dare. I mean, I guess I could just teach Cut to one of my Pokemon that I actually use, but... Cut sucks. It's just not a good move, man. Sorry I keep walking through you guys' house, but I don't want to cut the little tree at the south end. <laughs> Every time. Honestly, whoever was, like, doing the city planning for that town sucks ass. Okay, we already went up there, and I think down here is an item. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bring it on. I am going to check and see what Hopip's uh, deal is in this game. Oh, you got a Cyndaquil. That's tight. So you hop it up above at level 18 to skip loom. Uh, Professor Foxy, yeah, I take this one. Um, and then level 27 to jump luff. Skip loom kind of sucks. When it comes to stats, Jump Luff is not that much better, honestly. Attack and Special Attack are both pretty bad. Uh, however, Hopip learns... what did they learn? It learns Poison Powder, and Stun Spore, and Sleep Powder, all before he evolves into Skip Loom. So that's tight. Skip Loom learns... So statuses. I have a status Pokemon now. That's cool. Uh, Skip Loom learns Leech Seed. And that's it before it evolves. Um, and Jump Luff learns Cotton Spore and then Mega Drain at 44. So, yeah, he really doesn't have attacks for the most part. Um, Yeah, he can even have Splash. Very strange. Um, so yeah, he doesn't even have a Grass... That is so weird. He's part Flying too, right? Even as Jump Luff? Yeah, no Flying type move. Anywhere. He doesn't even get a grass type attack until level 44. That is so weird. However, if you have the TM for it, you can teach it Bullet Seed, or Giga Drain, or Solar Beam, Aerial Ace. And that's the only flying type move he can learn? That is so unnecessary. Like that. Grass and flying, that's not a good combination. Blech. That sucks. Alright. Uh, let's see, I already tail whipped once or twice. Let's just try tackle, see what it does. That's good. It's not bad. I mean, one more of those and he's down, so... Ouch. That was a good crit. That's a good crit, my dude. Quirkles leveled up. Professor Fox didn't quite level up. Combuskin. 
Um, yeah, I want to switch to Quirkles and then switch to probably Blappa to use Dig. Buskin, use Earthquake. Oh my fuck. No, I'm just kidding. That would suck. Hmm, so effective. Alright. Ah, you beat me fair. Yeah, I did. Yay, another berry. Fuck, I've been finding so many berries. Hey, and Adrian picked something up. Cherry berry, great. <laughs> uh, does anybody need healing? Buster Fox does, yeah. Um, yeah, super, uh, well, yeah, yeah, save the soda. I mean, that soda's gotta be flat by now. Go, my stupid bug Pokemon! Gee, may or may not have bugs. Wow, he does have. He has Shedin Shedinja. Who has 1 HP, by the way. And typically Wonder Guard, but I don't think this one will actually have Wonder Guard. Shedinja is also super fast, I think. I'm just gonna have Dur. He's also ghost type, so you can't use normal or fighting. I'm just gonna have Dur use Ember because he might actually have Wonder Guard. In fact, this is kind of an important detail. He has Wonder Guard. That is some horseshit. Uh, bye. We have two Shedinja. <sighs> Quirkles. I swear, if this kid has three Shedinja. <laughs> Leech all the life you want, man. You're a fucking ghost. Nothing's gonna change that. Yeah, he's got three shit ninja. Well, you know, I'm just gonna let Dirk use Ember. I'm not gonna switch in, switch out, fuck all that. Besides, he's getting decent experience. Kinda? Not that good experience? Whatever. Yep. I'm taking the rock tunnel to go to Lavender. Town? City? Village? Hovel? Lavender... place? Uh... Quirkles can almost fend for himself. I just want him to get to Curlia first. And then when it seems advantageous, like, then just let him go ham. Arena trap? Really? Really? He's holding a smoke ball. I thought smoke ball negated arena trap. This is simple. Look, if Lotad kills my Quirkles because of Arena Trap, it does not count. Like, Arena Trap is some bullshit. 
Well, that was a crit. Okay, that's not going to do very much. Okay, I didn't think it would do that much. Oh, wait a minute, we could just double team a couple of times. I can I can beat him. I can beat him fair and square. Except Swift ignores accuracy. So if he's smart, that's probably what he'll do. But it's a CPU, so I don't... Why haven't you missed yet, dude? I've double teamed twice. Quadruple teamed. How are you, how are you doing this? Should be missing a little bit. Does he have one of those bullshit abilities where you just never miss? There we go. Jeez. <laughs> you really should be missing. Great. Yeah, Swift. Thanks. I'm just going to use Confusion until it dies. Hopefully I can actually confuse him. And I think it's only like a 10% chance or something, but... Fucking idiot, just use Swift. There you go, that's a smart move. Yeah, Quirkles! Fucking one by yourself, good job. Thanks to bullshit arena trap. Got to use Paras. Uh, Paras's experience yield is garbage, so yeah. Uh, Dur, go ahead and burn it. Four times effective. It's grass and bug. Next, Chikorita. Yeah. I mean, no, Quirkles is hurt. Um, I'll just have Dirt keep going. I don't know. This guy's using a bunch of unevolved Pokemon, so. Experience here is going to be sparse. There we go. Nah. Well, the Dirk is probably going to level up from this. Yeah, there we go. Scary face, I don't want that. Uh, sharply reduce speed? No. No, I don't, I don't want that. Yeah. Can't measure up. Can't measure up. But I can't Okay. Well, the next episode, guys, we're gonna go this way, uh, fight this guy right here, and um, continue the quest. So, thank you all for being here. Hope you guys had a good time. And of course, before we get going, it is time for the Poke Fact of the Day. And today is one of my OG favorites. Uh, it's Ninetales, Fox Pokemon. And I thought 
there are some really good Pokedex entries for Ninetales. Um, who is obviously based on the Kitsune legend uh, in Japan. But um, yeah, this one came from Sapphire, which was a surprisingly long Pokedex entry. Um, it says, uh, Legend has it that Ninetales came into being when nine wizards possessing sacred powers merged into one. This Pokemon is highly intelligent. It can understand human speech. Which I thought was a cool flavor text. Also, a couple of the Pokedex entries were somewhat similar to this one. However, Sapphire is the only game that refers to the nine as wizards. In some of the other ones, they call them saints or... I don't remember what the other term was, but, um, yeah, I thought it was interesting, so hope you guys found it interesting as well. And a very special thank you, before we go, going out to the Farts and Crap Show members, Old Cranky Gamer, Val Straconis, you guys are legendary, thank you so much for checking out the join button down below, choosing to support the show a bit more directly, greatly helps out, and, um, you guys enjoy those members perks, and, uh, if you guys want to know more about it, check out the join button. There's all the things will be explained and such. Starts at three bucks a month, but um, yeah. Till next time, everybody. Take care. Have a wonderful day.